Uh, originally, um, this is up here mask, of course. Uh, but um, originally, my character came around because I was getting tired of going to college just as a normal person. I wanted to kind of have fun with everybody else. And so, Renegade was born, and they kept saying, Oh, you need to take my shit, you need to take some of my house because you might actually have something. I'm like, All right, cool. And that was the story. That's literally how it came about. This kind of fell out back was an honor. <laughs> Yeah, 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 speak up, Project. I don't have projection! I can't hear you with that in your mouth. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Five. Uh, basically, mine came from, uh, I like punk music, and I like clowns, so punk music became a clown version of me. You got to ask who made that one. It's not real, so. Everybody's gonna ask you, but that's good. It's fine, it's like, sure, you'll agree. Okay. Uh, I punk it, and I, I started out as a clown, and I was like, you know, it doesn't really fit my name. So I was like, you know, I, I want to go for something bloody. So now I'm bloody. Now I'm still pumpkin. No relation. Bloody pumpkin. Bloody pumpkin. Oh, I can't see it. TG, 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 Sounds like the logic those killer clowns used in this place or in the state a couple of years ago. Sometimes our best ideas come to us when we're just makeshifting things. That's so. Two characters are kind of merged together now. 
but so yeah. I went to this new haunt and they were like, You want a clown character? And I was like, Okay, I can do that. You know, I'm like half is a clown character, so we kinda like merge things together. But I put a lot of my self into my characters. So, you know, for example, the name Darlin is Funny and it's cheesy and it's corny as it sounds. It actually came from my mom. Um, you know, when I was going to school, she would wake me up every morning and she would play Conway Twitty, Hello Darling. So the hat's where it came from. And uh, yeah, that's me. That's me, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. I said, what do you say? <laughs> you don't mean that? No. Okay. So, um, yes, I'm Lunatic. I've been haunting for about 17 years now. And uh, I'm kind of a love child between a clown and a siren. And I was born in an asylum. And uh, yeah, I think that's where I got my name from because the orderlies just gave me medicine and said, give the lunatic his legs. And I, that, that's how I got here. Better backstory in the bank. <laughs> I have a question. Did you say a siren? Yes! Okay. Like a tornado siren? You know, we're not going to discuss that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we got to keep it PG-13. Oh, yeah. Ah, I see what you're talking about. So I just got another person here. It's late here. This is a, a local scurry face rep. This is Mr. Giggle. Gigglez. We call him Gigglez. Um, he works, that is his character here. He works at Nightfall on the territory. Uh, and the same question is for you. So... The question is, back story, origin of your character? So. Origin of the character. Okay, so I actually got into haunt acting because of my son. Um, he was working on his acting skills and then turned around. We saw an ad pop up for a local haunt, actually in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And we're like, hey, you've been in two movies, so let's try scare acting. And so I was like, all right, well, let's give this a shot. Well, he came back and was like, Dad, I got punched today. <laughs> but she peed herself. <laughs> All right, sounds awesome. So then the next night, same thing. I scared a lady, she peed herself. I scared a man and he peed himself. And I'm like, very interesting. I got, I got an eight-year-old going, Dad, this is amazing. So. Night after night that he worked, he'd come back with all these incredible stories about how much fun he had. So I was like, all right, it's my turn to go through and see what it's all about. Yeah. I went through, and I can go through haunted houses, okay, but I can't do horror films. So I'm walking through, and I see him in action. He's covered in blood, and he's like, comes out, and he's like, ah. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. It's just you. But I was like, well, what's a good way for me to bond with my child? Be a part of something that he's doing. So I said, all right, I'm going to give this a shot. Turn around. I'm like, all right, I'm here. He's like, Dad, what are you doing? I'm here to do this with you. He's like, nah. you go over there. You do something else, this is mine. So I said, all right. They put me in the clowns. They needed a clown. And... Uh, I kind of got with him and said, I don't have a clown name. What should I look like? He said, Dad, you're goofy. You make people laugh. Giggles. I said, man. I went on Facebook and said, how many giggles are there? A lot. How can I make this my own? He said, Dad, put a Z. Check it with a Z. Giggles. All right. Giggles it is. Um, but I've been doing this for about four and a half years. I really... Got to meet a lot of these actors online. I got to watch them, become a fan, and I started learning from them. Um, right here, you have a collective of over 80 years of experience just with these individuals here. Some of the ones that are not present here have over 25 to 35 years of experience and been in this industry since the 70s as well. So being a part of Scurry Face has broadened my knowledge of the haunt industry and how big the haunt industry is. Scurry Face, we have over 280 reps and so much experience there. So I actually reached out and I was like, how can I be better? How can I learn more? So then I learned from each and every one of these individuals here and I brought it to my haunt. I brought it to my character. I started learning. 
each and every con actor here actually has their own body movement, their own language, the way they act, the way they they move their body. And as a con actor, I took pieces of each one of my friends' acts. And I said, how can I make this my own? I don't want to copy them, but how can I make it my own? And I do that. And being in Oklahoma and seeing how small our haunt industry is here, I wanted to broaden the range. I do actor training now. I've, I've, I've reached out. I've gotten knowledge from all these people. And now I'm going to be doing haunt actor training over at Nightfall. And that's where I've been. Uh, Four and a half years in Oklahoma doing this, and I continue. I want to continue doing it and learning and, and helping this industry grow. Now, do y'all have any questions for any one of these characters here? I can sit down and just do that. He's doing my job right now for me, so just keep going, man. I'm just going to try to <laughs> what, man? No, you ran with it. I'll let you go with it. It just, just kind of happened. I'm on vacation. <laughs> this is the owner. They already know. You're late. Oh, yeah, you're late. Oh, you're late. You're late. Oh, you go. I had to get your phone. <laughs> <laughs> we held him up, too, because we were down there talking yeah, to him. <laughs> but actually, I have a request. She'd like to take a picture. With Absolutely. When we're done, uh, when we're done here, we'll do pictures, individual pictures with everybody. Once we, we, we wrap up the panel, so we'll be happy to take pictures with you. Any of us will. So um, absolutely can. Um, so yeah. So like as you said, the experience. So I wish we could get Boogie to come up here and all that because he, he's got the, the ultimate veteran of Scary Face. Um, he's he have he has so many years of experience with what he does and haunting, and that's. And I'll sort of piggyback on that, yep. is what we learn from each other. And the mentality of what Scary Face is truly about is also, our, you know, we are one because we are all literally in the same industry trying to achieve the same goals. But the same point of what Scary Face is about is we're not experienced enough to stop learning in the, of the industry from each other. So everybody brings their own unique creativity and aspect of their style, their haunt. And even me as the owner, I learn from all of them as well. I'm learning things and they're teaching me things. and it's never stopped growing within the industry. So if you ever wanted to get in the industry, be a part of a hunt, that's the mentality you gotta have to really be successful in it, to do what these ladies and gentlemen do. And always willing to learn. Um, so any questions for any any, any of them? Uh, don't, don't be shy. Not everybody wants to. <laughs> you, want, you have any requests? They can dance. We have, a suite. we have a dancer clown, we have a singer. Oh, okay. What is your favorite scare you've ever done? For everybody, or you have one for just for everyone? One? Everyone, your favorite scare? Yeah. Your favorite the best, scare? The best time you've scared someone. Okay. I scared somebody so bad. Uh, I have a chainsaw plan. So at the end, I came out of a chainsaw. A group of four went straight through the cave wall, broke two of the wall panels, and then apologized for getting scared. <laughs> 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 you don't do that very well. Uh, no, I don't. We might have to come back to you. We might be here all day. <laughs> and literally, I actually scared this guy was, believe it or not, twice my size. Had a girlfriend that was probably twice less his size. Literally used her as a battling ram because we scared him so bad. He went through the door, she went through the wall. That's hilarious. But it was a wall that didn't move, so she pretty much had a confession. <laughs> <laughs> so I can actually say I have given somebody a confession. Nice. Incredible. It was uh, towards the end of the night. And we were just about to wrap up. And uh, the groups get smaller and smaller. So it was just a two person group. It was like a wife and a husband. And uh, they come down my hallway. And I run at the, run at the wife. And she just like is on like drops. And I'm like, all right, she'll just she'll get back up, she'll start walking again just in a second. She was on the ground, like passed out. And I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and so we had to go to the front and they all came in and I'm like, I'm just gonna hide now. I don't want her to see me and pass out again. I don't wanna go through twenty more minutes of trying to get her off the floor. Oh, I'll have to choose from here, but I'm going to go with the most previous one. <laughs> I was covering a break, in our, a break in our swamp area. I get this 
Lady so hard she pees herself, keeps on walking. Her boyfriend's about 10 feet behind. Get him, tries to run off, slips in the pub. <laughs> you have to follow that. <laughs> I think my biggest scare was this past season, and I had a group come in, and I had a TV in my room, and it plays like an outside scenery because it's like a shack, and they came through. And I have this little, it's like a chimney. You can get in it and hide. It's like a big box. And so I was inside and I like peeked through it a little bit, you know, where the lighting is, you know, walk the chimney, walk through. And I pop out at them and they go to the back of the room and they knock into the TV and they break the TV. And the whole thing's cracked. So I'm like, go, Dred, hurry, break a TV. <laughs> favorite scares was uh, one of my uh, my very first season uh, there was an actor who played a very aggressive character named Dollface and he had like a broken porcelain kind of mask I was a victim character and he would want to run through the hallways uh, doing like his nose lines and everything and that's how I knew we were about to do the scare but there was a specific uh, staircase that they let us do a scare in where he would hang me basically over the edge about halfway and I would dangle there and scream and do like a whole kind of victim thing and we had a group come through who thought that they were really, really, really tough because they were in the military and most people, I don't know why they think that they're super tough and they're going to come in like that and they end up on their butt because they're scared. But that's basically what happened is they came in and they thought that they were going to be tough with their chicks on their arms and they came in and they started screaming, the girls scattered, they scattered. It was, it was just amazing. It was just amazing watching them just big tough guys just scattered. <laughs> I got to meet half the fire department from Houston. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the story. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say this gotta be a story that you can just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, I used to, whenever I was about 16, I was the foreman or manager, is what they call it, of our Texas Chainsaw Maze in Houston. Uh, it was part of Houston Scream Fest. And uh, I had the opportunity to be in there covering breaks because you're supposed to do that. And anyway, she came around the corner. I got her. She turned around and went full sprint, like 30-yard dash, into a still beam, causing 60 stitches from her forehead down to her throat. And it was great. That's bright <laughs> I've ever seen it. I freaked out. She freaked out. Everybody freaked out. It was a good time. The full freak. I'm gonna follow that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I never caused anybody to have a concussion or anything like that. But um, so I said I had two characters. This was my other character. Her name is Cora. I'm a merger character, so I kind of have both of them going on at the same time. Oh God, it's like eight days here rising. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But so you know, I was working a scene and. This big, tall, girly guy was in his group, whole group with him, walks in at the scene and I'm doing my thing. And the guy says a very obscene or <laughs> obscene phrase. And the only way that I can do this to kind of get you guys to understand where I'm coming from is to actually kind of do it a little bit. So oh I'm extra. Yeah. I'm extra. I'm so sorry. That's just. I hope you're ready. So, you know, the guy comes in. I'm sitting in this chair. And he says what he says. And his whole group is behind him. And I stand up out of the chair and I'm like, Do you think it's funny to take the Lord's name in vain, boy? <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, he was like, and the rest of his group at that point in time had already came in when I stood up. And they like, it was like lightning in a jar. They just dispersed all over the entire room. The guy's still standing there. He's not moving. His wife is behind him, okay? And I take a step forward because as a scare actor, when you're working a scene, you want to move people out of that scene as quickly as possible. So, you know, I take a step forward to kind of move them on around. <laughs> when I did that, he backs into his wife. He'd already peed his pants. And she goes, 
You peed my pants! <laughs> so, I got two peed pants in one. So, yeah. <laughs> See, so, my, f my favorite really scare of all time is probably, like, my first year. And it's amazing when you can, uh, I don't think the customer. Right there. <laughs> you, you can scare a customer as well, and then freak out the rest of your actors and actually gross them out. It's the best. I actually made a guy crap his pants, and then as he walked in the rest of the hunt, all the other actors were vomiting, so I think it was a win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, the, the best scare for just everybody in general, I was at a haunt for a special event, and was running around and, uh, I I was going to take on a shipping container. And, uh, yeah, that's where these stitches came from because I actually ended up getting six stitches and that was about it. And everybody else was freaked out. And I think I only freaked out when I saw the blood. But other than that, I was good. Uh, you freaked out when I, was, I walked in. I was yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, shit. What? what? What's going on? Because I could not see at that point either because blood was just everywhere. It was, it was great. <laughs> So yeah, I got the nickname Crash because of that too. What's that doing again? Uh, I think of one. I thought I don't need it. Yeah, you don't need it. Uh, so it was actually pretty recent. As uh, at MBB, which is my bloody Valentine, and uh, at Arts and Wilson Killing, Alabama, and it was very beginning of the night. We had just come out to the midway to to work the crowd out there. Five minutes into it, it was me, Giggles, and about three or four of their actors. Had this group of three people, and literally you have all five of us literally circling them and had them on the ground screaming for about what, about five minutes or so? <laughs> we call it a fear circle. Yeah, the best day of fear circle. That was the highlight of my career so far. <laughs> I was doing that. Uh, I believe another question was do we have day jobs? <laughs> no. No. no! No! Who asked that question? No, we don't. We are at our day job. Yeah, we are. We're, we're working in the state. That's exactly. <laughs> he pays us very handsomely. Uh, thank you. <laughs> for two of us a week, that's all we get. Some of those stories uh, I'd like to have seen personally, but they're, they're, I got to see a lot of those scares that they're talking about, especially the MBB one. <laughs> we do a big event every February called My Bloody Valentine at Arx Mortis, and it's in, it's a very fitting town. The, the town that Arx Mortis is in is called Killing. Killing, Alabama. And so that is, that's not a fitting city name for a haunted house. I don't know what is. Um, so then we go there every February as a big collective like you see here today, and we go to this haunt and we all get together and we basically take over that haunt, which that's where Punky is from. And so normally they have, it's a, it's a big haunt. You can check them out at archmortis.com. You can check them out, a great, wonderful haunt. It's a, it's a massive haunt and that has a lot of a lot of characters. But when we, when Scarface shows up in February, their roster of like 40 or so turns into 113. And so now we have 113 of these lovely individuals taking over their haunt and then the people that come in they don't know what to do and that's where all these wonderful stories a lot of these stories will come through come from bubble and valentine uh, any other questions other than they had, and to answer your question yes uh we do have day jobs we are normal people we just love hunting and enjoy what we do they're really excited now i will say we get him for a rip i like his sound effects <laughs> <laughs> Now what fits that town even better is the drugstore because it's called Killing Drugs. Killing Drugs. <laughs> I have one question. If yeah, it, go ahead. Uh, what got you guys into scare acting, specifically? Uh, you want to start? We'll start, wait, start with Lunatic. We started with nobody else. Okay, yeah. You don't need a mic. Go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, it's funny because I actually was just going through a haunted house go through and check it out and uh when she was inside so I was just being a little funny kid and I was like she was in this group and she just bought them tickets and being told no refund and they were like nope screw this we're out and I was like wait it's that easy I mean, so I like, went to a local, a local haunt and I was like what do I gotta do to work and they were like uh how old are you and I was like um, like 
16. They were like, well, you can volunteer. I was like, cool, I'll be back. And the rest is history. We're back. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. It's your third time around. I know, right? <laughs> um, I started doing this when I was in high school. I would go to a little haunt um, for the 4-H club out there, the Gatesville Lake, the Louise of Kentucky. Um, and I would just kind of mess around out there a little bit and jump in and act if they needed me to. Um, you know, and then I stopped doing it for a long time. And my best friend passed away. We used to go to haunts together all the time. That's something that we did, you know, all the time we go to haunts together. Every September, October, we were going to haunts over what we was doing. Um, and she passed away. The night before, she was like, hey, do you want to go to a haunt? And I was like, no, i got to work the next morning. The haunt that I'm at now is the haunt that she went to. So, I mean, I started back doing this as a way to kind of honor her memory and carry her with me. So that's why I do this every year. So, yeah. Very commendable. Waterworks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I... I've been doing this for this is my seventh year or two, and it was a hayride that I started out with. And I went there for one weekend and asked guests, and I see everything that they were doing, and I'm like, I know there's much more to it. So I went up and I asked them, I said, can I have an application? He said, you don't need one to show up. So I went the next weekend, and they put me in something, and I went with it. And the next thing I know, I'm here I am, I'm still doing it. It's my getaway. I haven't went from home, and I hope my kids get into it. So. Alrighty, for me, it was eight years ago. My best friend was working at a small local haunted house, and they were short on actors. Didn't really want to do it at first. I got there, absolutely loved it. I'm still acting, he's not, so at the end of the day, I think I'm winning. Glop, glop, glop. Anyway, I've been doing this for about five years. Uh, and up until like the very first year I started, I hated it all. Hated it. Nothing, would not go near it, would not watch anything would not be anywhere near anything. Um, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go. And I went through my home pond, Scary Acres. I was like, what the, this, I love this, where, where do I sign up? And I, I hated it so much that I started doing it. <laughs> you hated it into liking it. Right, yeah, pretty much. Well, out of this group, I am cannot be the only one that can actually say the boss man is the one that got me in that. <laughs> he worked at Saul, so I can hang out with him for like a year. And then the next year, he's like, why don't you come out and try out? So I'm watching all these people do auditions. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I walk up. Their boss looks at me, and he goes, how tall is he? I'm like, six four. He goes, yeah, you got a job. <laughs> he's like, nope, we're done. We try to Tyler. He said, that's a good one. <laughs> so, 18 years later, here I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm always next to you. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get us sideways. Where did you go? All these scary people. I'm not sure. I can't flip it off. No. <laughs> really weird. All right, Lala, say cheese. <laughs> Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm not even kidding, you're doing great. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah. I'll okay. give you a cookie at the booth. That's a good picture. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. Can you feel free to tag her? I call next to so whoever's not. Oh, I can't make sure you're going to be able to. Okay, she's already over here. We're not done, we're not done. Oh, you want to get it back? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just put it on Facebook or, or send it for me. Thanks, Harry. Like, thanks. On Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on the website. That's for you, Ben. Here, let me have your bag. Tyler's security is here. I'm in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's already got the gloves on. She's already got the gloves. We're about to get counting search. Oh, sorry. Are we ready? Can we do it publicly? 
<laughs> Only if I get footage. <laughs> I better get paid. Thank you. Thank you all very much. All right. You, right. Scary you guys good? Yes. Who's next? Next? Okay. Sorry. I'm going to shut up. Little ears. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She watches scary movies all the time. She's... Yeah, you do. You, you watch games. Just for the. Anybody else want to come here? Oh, yours? Okay. There's one. Everybody else do their stuff, so I didn't interrupt. It's only bear. Oh, 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 she was really. I have a sticker. Did she have a sticker back? We could just do that. She was trying to share. And I see that share. That was so sweet. No, I was about to eat it. I was about to eat my candy. Too much. Thanks, guys. Why not, Moto? Alright, can I get one before everybody disperses? It still looks on the same way. Two million for you. Alright, I'm going to get you. Do whatever you want, guys. Let's film at the moment. I'm just gonna cut it as we go. And see. That's what's still going. I love it. All right. She's got the same time she's on. Thank you, guys. Hey, hey, you beat your personal best. I got the points. <laughs> 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 we are always active.